On the news hour tonight, let me welcome first uh, from our remote locations. We are joined by Kamal Faruqi of the Samajwadi Party. Nawab Qasim Ali Khan, who is now with the Congress Party, is with us. Vinod Mehta is with us. With me in the studio is Manini Chatterjee uh, of the Telegraph. Thank you very much, Manini. We also have with us Ajay Bose, senior journalist and author. To his left, Ashok Malik. Thank you very much for coming. Nirmala Sitaraman, my first question is to you tonight. How high is the level of regret in the BJP over the entire Kushwaha episode? There's no regret at all. It was very clearly a decision taken in order to give representation for the backward classes. And Mr. Kushwaha approached us. We've certainly taken him for that. And in no way, let me even at the very beginning tell you, in no way the BJP is protecting him, if any, for any corruption charges, nor are we shielding him. So here is a person who's joined the BJP and very clearly the BJP's understanding is that we are giving place to a blackboard classes leader and that's where it is. So tomorrow if Suresh Kalmadi and A. Raja were to want to join the BJP and you give you compelling reasons that have nothing to do with the cases of corruption against them or the allegations against them, would you also seriously consider that? Well, I don't think it works that way, Arnab. It's the same logic. No, the logic is there. You can repost the logic the way you want. But the fact remains that here is somebody who is a representative of backward classes on whom there may be allegations, no doubt. But the party is not giving any immunity or cover for his charges once the legal recourse is uh, taken okay. by whoever. And if there are any charges later okay. on proved, the party will take a call at that time. Okay, let's open up the debate. Kadawab Kazamali, what do you think of what's going on? You know, you're seeing that you, you've joined the Congress now, by the way. You moved away, moved away from, from, from the BSP. That's right. But surely even you would admit, That's despite right. any grudge you may have against Mayawati, that she went out to purge the tainted elements which the BJP has welcomed. Well, uh, as far as you're singling Babu Singh Kushpa, I think he definitely is a tainted person. But you cannot generalize that statement. Uh, I think uh, one should hold that argument on individuals rather than on an entire uh, bunch of legislators or ministers, you know. Uh, what the BJP is doing with Babu Singh Kushwa is entirely a matter of their party. I'm not really in a position to comment on that. But what Mr. Kalyan Singh, who's been a senior leader and been a senior politician in the, in the politics of Uttar Pradesh, if he's making a statement like that, I'm sure he must be having ample evidence to, hold, uh, to make that statement. So now I think um, if, if BJP is giving a prophecy saying that... Uh, they will, uh, once the legal uh, process is completed and if, if there's an investigation against that person, they'll take uh, action on that, then, you know, it is something what they have to do. And uh, as far as the Congress is uh, concerned, so the Congress has... Why are you uh, being so careful any, and restrained in what you say? I'm not restrained at all, Arnav. I was not very, restrained very careful. when I was in the BSP. And there should, there, there should have been more restraint then than now. Now I have the freedom of, uh, the freedom of uh, speech. At that point of time, it was a very different scenario. So there's no, uh, there's no reason why I have to be restrained. I'm just saying uh, what I think is more logical. Okay. I, I, take and, uh, I, take, course, I take you at your face uh, value. I yeah. take you at your face value. I want to bring this. Yeah, I want yeah. to bring in Kamal Farooq. Please next. do that. Kamal You've Farooqi. always done that. The BJP says this is about backward caste representation. You take them at face value, I yeah, presume, Arna, as well. Arnab, Arna, this is what actually the impression is being given that uh, perhaps it is the backward classes which uh, the BJP was aiming off. Uh, for uh, getting a little edge over the others. But uh, I, what actually Mr. Kalyan Singh has said, this is to be noted uh, with a lot of concern. And the people in BJP uh, should be answerable to the nation uh, at large because they are the ones who were who talking so loudly about the Lokpal and the corruption and what not. And suddenly they have done like this. So it is, uh, we, of course it's their internal uh, matter. We need not to say anything about it. But we are talking uh, generally, uh, as far as the general politics is concerned, the way this uh, uh, talk caste politics... No, why talk generally? Why talk generally, Mr. Farooqi? Let's be very, very specific. Let's be specific. I am very because I, this question I, I, has been I am put very so specific. many times, and Ajay Bose, you said it once, I'm, you know, in a debate, and I, I'm, I never I'm, cease I'm, to continue to ask yeah, you I on know, this. I know. That you know, you I said know, eventually I she's know, going I'm, to win. 
Mayawati is going to win and winnability is what matters. But tonight here we are, winnability was all that mattered and perception did not matter. Then why would there be such a big deal over Kushwa? No, you know, I, I think you mis misunderstood what I said. What I'm trying to say, as I always say, that corruption is one of the many issues that plays out, you know, in elections. And taints, individual taints, you know, are of course very important in election. I'm not at all trying to minimize that. The point is that who, who, does everybody think the same way? If there is complete collective, you know, uh, you know, if there is a collective uh, revulsion against a politician, yeah. you know, or a leader, then of course that person will be sunk. But usually what happens is that only sections of the population, ah, sections of the electorate, think that, you know, Which that sections? somebody is corrupt. Which sections? So, so we Urban, have to middle see. class, television yeah. viewing no, sections. No. So yeah, sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. I'm sorry to no. say that there is not an uniform perception, you know, with everybody. There's a wider world then, out then there. Then why does the BJP even care about No, I issue? think the BJP... Why is in, Menaka Gandhi talking? No, no, but or no, in this case, in this case, I think the BJP has made a serious mistake. Yes. And I'll tell you why. There are two reasons. One thing I don't believe that Mr. Kushwa is such a big catch, honestly. I don't think he's such a mass leader that he will bring in a huge amount of votes. No, no. On the other hand, the BJP, much like the Congress, depends certainly, one of its core bases is the urban middle class. The urban middle class is a very core base of the BJP. No, so perception will definitely matters. perception matter, but these perceptions, as I said, differs from no, section them, to let, section let, of the population. No, let them defy the perception. Let me get in all our panelists first before I open this up for debate. Vinod Mehta. Vinod Mehta, does perception matter or does winnability matter alone? Arjuna, what you are really watching today are the fault lines at one level of the national leadership of the BJP with Mr. Gadkari trying to assert himself and trying to become, assert himself as the president of the party. And the one way he can do this is by doing well in UP, for BJP doing well in UP under his control. Now the second thing which seems to have rattled the BJP is news from within the state that the first two slots in, in the state are now fixed. It's BSP or SP. BJP was always satisfied that it's going to be number three. What we are getting some information from the ground that BJP may be relegated to the fourth place and that there is a wind behind the Congress sales. So Mr. Gadkari is now desperate to somehow Occupy, he must at, at the very least occupy the third slot. But if he can't occupy the third slot, then he has to stitch together these very unlikely alliances and induct tainted people, etc. But if the BJP was to come forth in the UP elections behind the Congress, then it would be a big blow to Mr. Gadkari. And what you are watching now is a desperate effort on the part of the BJP by hook or by crook to emerge as the number three party in, in UP and no, not to come below the so Congress. So this is all out of desperation. So this induction of... Uh, so this, this is all out of desperation. Of so this is all out of desperation, out that's of what desper you're saying. Arnab, it's out of desperation to occupy the number three slot. One and two are out of the question. One and two are out of the question. You are getting a very wry smile from Nirmala Sitaraman, I must say. Okay, um, uh, Ma Ma Manini, you know, we are coming to the moot point. And I am I'm I'm going to continue to hammer on this point. Tonight's the time to decide whether winnability is all that matters. And image and public perception does not matter. Let's seal the debate on the Kushwa issue. Which way do you think the BJP is going to go? No, I, I'd agree with both, uh, you know, that it's, it's, it's a absolute desperation on the part of the BJP. But it, it, the worst part is this is a lose-lose situation to the BJP because I don't see Mr. Kushwaha as somebody who's going to help them win. No, regardless you know, of that, he's in. He's, he's in no, and all, all hell has broken loose. Yeah, all hell has broken loose precisely if he was, if everybody in the party thought that he was 
uh, winnable, uh, he was going to help the BJP uh, confidently reach number three position, then hell wouldn't have broken loose. What I'm trying to say is that the BJP has botched it up, and that's why what Mr. Kalyan Singh has said has actually uh, makes a lot of sense. Because why did they want to take, uh, you know, and Mr. Kushwa is not just anybody any, who's tainted. Mr. Kushwa is somebody who the BJP's own national secretary, Kirit Sumaya, sort of gave a whole sheaf of material to the CBI against him. And, and if, if Mr. Kushwa was such a big OBC leader, Mayavati would not have got no, rid of him on the eve of election. Sure,